Hello everyone, Andesidjuai here, and welcome back to another video of Pokemon Violet. Also, there's kind of a sandstorm going on right now, but let's just ignore that for now. So anyways, in this episode, we have a couple of things we're gonna do. The first main thing we're gonna do is simply, uh, beat the, uh, the, I guess the ground-type Titan Pokemon, or what was it called again? The Quaking Earth Titan, I think that's what it was. But it's the Titan Pokemon in the middle of the desert we passed through earlier. So we're gonna go down there and do that, but then there's some other stuff I wanna do, just other stuff for fun. But, so this is going to be a pretty, you know, just chill and exciting episode, so I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, how's your guys' day been going? The, uh, well, for me, the holidays are just about a week away, so that's really cool. And, oh yeah, speaking of that witch, uh, so I won't be able to upload videos for a little while, you know, when the holidays come. But, although sometime before, I guess sometime in just a few days during this week, I want to do a video, or basically, a, oh, not really a video, but basically a holiday stream of Pokemon Unite. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, because there's another trainer over here, let's battle this trainer. What do you think will happen if sand gets into my shoes? Oh, that's uncomfortable. I hate getting sand in my shoes. I'm challenged by Ismi Ismol, the student. Probably pronounced it wrong, I'm sorry. Okay, they have a water type. Okay, I also have treasure, the gimme ghoul. Not sure I should be using this right now. That, I mean, them right now. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna switch out for Blob right now. Okay, come on, Blob, you got this. Because one thing about Blob, I actually, I actually totally forgot about it. When we're going against like the water type gym, the blob's actually immune to water type attacks. See, because yeah, blob's water absorb, it doesn't affect them. It actually will heal them if they're damaged. That's super good. Also, here, blob doesn't take damage to the sandstorm since they're a ground type, so they're like really good in this area. So I should probably switch them to be my main Pokemon. Okay, they're flailing, doing a bit of damage to me. Let's go for a poison jab and do a good amount of damage. It would be really nice if they went for an aqua jet, so then I could heal up. Nope. Alright, oh well, it's fine. Alright, goodbye, Cluncher. Uh, do you have any more Pokemon? Let's see. Uh, nope, you don't. That was it. Way to go. A blob, you did it. Okay, there we go. But he's happy, he's clapping. Maybe I'll just go bury my head in the sand. What? What? Don't do that. Come on. Okay, I don't... Okay, that's, that might actually have sort of a dark meaning, but just don't do that. That's just kind of weird. Okay, man, the sandstorm is really rough. Alright, let's keep going this way. So, I mean, we've already caught most of the Pokemon in this desert like that. Oh, wait, what Pokemon is that? I don't think we've caught in that yet. Let's see. Oh, an Aspathra. Okay. Alright, caught the wild Aspathra off guard. Okay, so, okay, I, actually, I have to confess, I did actually get this Pokemon from a trade. Because I did do some, you know, trading off camera. And I did actually get this Pokemon, so I actually already have it. But you know what? I'm still going to try to catch, although it's... I'm gonna try to catch all those little three six though, so I'm scared. Oh wait, Astonish is super effective. Do you think it's a like I forgot what type it was? Is, is this psychic? Is that what it is? I don't know. Okay. Okay, well it's not ground type. Alright, but neither is uh gimme ghoul. Tre treasure the gimme ghouls, that's how I should say it. Alright, so what's it gonna do? Agility? Okay, it's gonna boost the speed, although I'm not really worried since it's already faster than me. Like if you're already if you're faster than your, your opponent, you shouldn't lose agility. Although, I guess it's kind of hard to see if you're faster than your opponent at times. I mean, well, you, you, it doesn't really show you that you, unless, uh, I mean, does it? I mean, I guess if I check these statues, you can see how much their speed has been, like, buffed, but you don't know how much their speed was to begin with, so yeah. Also, okay, yeah, it's just, it's just a plain, a plain psychic type, so. Okay, the only problem is ghost type Pokemon aren't resistant to psychic type moves, so. Um, okay, yeah, it just did a bunch of damage to me and I'm almost dead. Oh no, I'm gonna die of the sandstorm, aren't I? Shoot. Actually, you know what, maybe I- uh, I guess I could- I should wait, no, Blob's a poison type, so they're weak to psychic type moves. Alright, I still wanna try to catch them, though, so let's choose my next Pokemon. Uh, who to choose? I don't know who to use, though. No, okay, none of, none of my Pokemon are, are resistant to psychic types. I guess I could try Flaffy? I don't really know. Okay, oh, and the sandstorm stopped, okay. That's actually kind of bad. Now I, I, I was kind of, I was kind of relying on that for damage, to be honest. Actually, well, Electro Ball does a lot of damage it's because it, it's really fast. So let's see if Electro Ball does enough damage to get it low. What the? Did that, did that even do anything? Okay, it was hard to see. Like the screen kind of shook there. Okay, I'm gonna try a just normal Thunder Shock now. And then I'm gonna try to catch it. Okay. I'm not sure how powerful this Pokemon is. I'm not sure if I want to use it though. Uh, I don't really know. Okay, just one more Thundershock, and I should be good. Another Psybeam. Okay, Flaffy's alive. Um, okay. 
Okay, my Flaffy might faint. Okay, I'm gonna go for, I don't want to use Ultra Balls. I'm just gonna keep throwing Great Balls until I catch it. I mean, again, I do already have one, but I'm just gonna catch it legitimately just so I can say I've caught one legitimately. Okay, nice. Okay, it wasn't that bad. I just had to just battle it a lot. There we go. Esprathra was caught. I guess I'll, 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 guess I'll check his Pokedex entry again just so all you guys can see. So it's the ostr Ostrich Pokemon, a Psychic type. It emits Psychic power from the gaps between its multicolored frills and sprints at speeds greater than 120 miles per hour. Also, I think this is actually like the evolution of like those uh friddle pokemon we see like just flying around like those little yeah that one right over there uh, i mean I, I think it's the evolution of it i mean it seems kind of weird but all right bro let's just keep going let's pick up some items along the way you know, this also have a tear oh wait no it's a tear slice pokemon i'm not sure if it's one i've already caught though okay there's another uh, one of those tumbleweed pokemon bramblin okay it's just another sandy gas i, I, already, I already got the sandy gas i think maybe like certain like, a terror size Pokemon spawn in the same spots over and over. Because I believe it was it was like that with the Alpha Pokemon in Legends of Arceus. You can keep going back and forth and finding them. Also, whoa! Was, is that the Titan Pokemon right there? What the heck is that? It's like rolling all over the place. Oh, there's a Bravery. Should I catch it? Okay, sounds the same as his Yui and Bravery, but it's different Pokemon. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't really find it. It found me. Oh, no. It's, okay, I, I don't think I should be doing this, actually. I probably shouldn't. Slash. Yeah, it just knocked out uh, Flappy. Okay, this is actually kind of bad. Okay, I should I should run. I'm not prepared for this. Okay. And also, I might need to heal my... I mean, actually, no, let's not go back to the Pokemon Center. Let's just use items. I mean, it should be fine. We have plenty. Also, is that... Oh, it's a Sand Dial. Okay, it just burrowed under the sand. That's cool. Okay. Let's see. Is there another Sand Dial? Okay, there's one right there, I think. Okay, hi, Sand Dial. I like how he actually like, crawls under his, the sand in this game. It's a nice detail. Oh, there he is. Okay, they're intimidating me. Okay, only level 23. I should be able, I should be able to get this. Okay, I think it's a ground and dark type, so I don't want to go for water fighting type moves. Torment? Uh, what is- I think- what does that do? Uh, okay, I don't know what that does exactly, but I don't think I want to fight anymore. I think I just want to just keep going for my Pokeballs, or I guess Great Balls, in this case. Wow. I think it's kind of cool you can see the Titan Pokemon before you get there. Like, just get it, just sort of a glimpse of what they're gonna be. I mean, it, maybe it kind of spoils it, but it still is pretty cool, too. But there we go. Alright, we got Sandile, the Desert Croc Pokemon. It's a ground and dark type. They live hidden under hot desert sands in order to keep their body temperature from dropping. Yep, we just saw that. Yeah, I like how the Pokedex entries are actually, like, getting... Like, they feel more, like, accurate to the games now. I don't know, it's just me, but it just feels that way, personally. Okay. Oh, there's another bravery just walking around. That's kind of cool that they can be found flying and also just, I guess, walking. Wait, is that bravery? Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, I just wanted to check. Also, let's head this way. Oh, wow. What is that thing? Oh, okay, it went this way. Do I, do I have to chase it? I think I might have to. Whoa. Is it like a robot? What the heck is that? I don't know. It looks really cool, though. I mean, I can't really get a good look at it, though. Okay, come on. Okay, okay. Okay, I gotta chase it this way. That's what I have to do. There we go. Alright, come here. I'm ready to battle you. Hello. Okay, actually, I sh probably shouldn't be getting this close. It could easily hit me. Oh my god, what the heck? It's like a robot with like a elephant trunk, sort of. Oh, and it looks mad. We're done for. Roto toto. What is it? Hello, Sitchwai. This is Professor Toro. Iron Treads is a Pokemon that came from the great crater of Paldea. I asked it to do whatever you do is needed to subdue it for me with all due caution, of course. What? Okay. Iron Treads, the Quaking Earth Titan? Okay, wow, this is interesting. Okay, should I terrestrialize? I don't know if I should. I mean, let's just go for an Aqua Cutter and see what that does. Okay, Rapid Spin. Okay, that did a ton of damage. Okay, I might, I might not actually be prepared for this. Hmm. Okay, I might not be prepared for this, actually. Okay, do you think I, I- I think I might have messed up again like I did with Team Star's Fire Crew and went for one I wasn't supposed to right away. I think that might have happened. Okay, yeah, because it just- Because, like, I don't- I can't see its level, but, like, it did that much to me, so, like, should I really be here right now? Okay, well, do I- oh, can I not run? Okay, this isn't going well. I mean, I guess I'll try, but I'm not sure I'll be able to do this. Come on. Okay, it's faster than me. 
Okay, at least this time I didn't, like, the Zorin is more tanky, okay? It's, yeah, it's getting really fast. That's scary. Okay, and that wasn't super effective. Okay, do, oh, that's actually good. Lowered its attack, so I won. Oh, dang, I'm taking damage to the Sandstorm, though. Uh, okay, sh okay, I'm just gonna try Terrorizing, going for Trop Kick, and hopefully doing more damage. Okay, but I, I still don't know if, if, if I'll be able to do this, because... Okay, if, if I can't do this, like, without using items, then I'm not gonna do it, because I don't want to waste items like I did last time. Whatever, let's just go for this, and just see if it works. Uh, Iron Head? That's gonna do a lot more- Yep, it just knocked me out! Okay, I, I can't run from this either, like, I really just want to run and just give up. And just try something else, really. Okay, Blob, you're next. Actually, do you think it's a... a I think, is, do you think it's also a skill type? If so, I might be able to be super effective against it. Okay, I can't escape, so yeah, I can't use that. Okay, okay, I didn't mean to click it twice in a row. Okay, I can't escape, I get it. Okay, I guess we'll try a dig this time. Rapid spin. Man, yeah, still doing a lot of damage. Oh boy. It's interesting, it's, it's name is Iron Treads. It seems like a weird name for a Pokemon. I don't really know. Okay, that's not gonna hit me. Alright, how much damage are you gonna do, Blob? Okay, it's at half health. Still not sure I'll be able to do this, though. Okay. okay at least Blob is Dig is pretty good in, during this. Okay. Now, what are you, what are you gonna go for next? Alright, another knockoff. I don't know why he prefers using that move when I'm buried, but whatever. I guess when I'm, when I'm digging. Okay, it's almost down. Okay. Okay, well, actually, you know what? Okay. I mean, I'm, I, I think I might be able to, I have a chance now, so actually, I take it back. I'm actually gonna use an item, a hyper potion, in fact, just to give myself a chance. Alright, there we go. Alright, come on, Blob, you got this. So now you should be at full HP. Knock off. Okay. I think that, like, gets rid of an item if you have one, but I don't have items equipped, so it's not gonna do anything. Oh, it's still- No! I wasted my Hyper Potion! No. Okay. Okay, who should we use? Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll try Fletchinger. Okay, I think if, it, if Fletchinger faints, I, I'm gonna switch up for my other Pokemon, like, or, and, well, or just try to buy some time I can, uh, use, uh, revives. Okay, do you think it's a steel type so will flame charge be super effective? Okay, okay, that wasn't very effective against me though. Flame charge. Oh, that was good! Way to go, Fletchender. Okay. Alright, is it okay now it's weakened, I believe, so now Arvin is gonna come in hopefully. Wait, I, I still have to keep going? Okay. Iron head. Okay. Okay, wait, I, I burned it though. If, will that help? I don't know. Okay, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send out, I guess, a Pokemon just to tank a hit. So I can, uh, send out, I, I guess I can, uh, revive Donald and use them. Okay. Okay. Actually, actually, okay, I'll send out Treasure just to tank this hit. I'm sorry, Treasure. Okay, what's interesting is, like, before we only had to get it, like, low, but now do I, do I actually have to knock it out now? Is that what I have to do in this battle? I guess, I think I might have to. Okay. Come on, Donald. Uh, okay, I'm not sure they'll be able to knock him out before they knock me out, though. Oh, wait, actually, Aqua Jet makes me go first! Of course I can use that! Come on, Donald, use Aqua Jet! And take it out! Okay, so did that work? Okay, fainted? Is that all I to do? Because I don't think I could catch it. Oh, it didn't faint, it ran away, okay. Let's see, do I have to do something again? Oh, I have to, f I have to find it? Okay, it's right over there, though. Okay, can I heal up, though? Okay, um, okay, I'm gonna try, like, going back to Pokemon Center, healing up before taking it on again, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. Let's save first. I just hope it, like, it doesn't, like, go away or mess up anything if I do that, but that's why I'm gonna save here just in case. Okay, so I healed up the Pokemon Center and then warped back to the desert. Oh, I got a Sunstone. That's a pretty cool item. But anyways, now do you think I'll, uh, I, I think the Titan Pokemon is still where it was before, so I think I'll still be able to do it. So I, I guess, I guess it's sort of intended just to give you a chance to go to the Pokemon Center after that. I mean, I'm still not sure if I'm supposed to do that right now, because it seems pretty over At least, I mean, I couldn't see its level, though, so, like, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, like, extremely difficult, but still. Alright, let's just head over there. I'm hoping Arvin will help us out this time around, because I think I really need some help taking on this thing. Alright, let's do this. 
pursuing me, uh, iron treads. I mean, they have a, they have, they have like a giant, like, tread on them, so I guess that's why they call it that. Okay, so it's breaking open the rock, and now it's gonna get the Herba Mystica, and it's gonna become more powerful than it already was. The Titan Iron Treads begin eating something. Okay, hello, Orphan, you showed up just in time. Anastasia, it looks like you found yourself a Titan. Sure did. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Uh... Is, is that thing even a Pokemon? I don't know. I'm kind of confused as well. It must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Alright, let's do this. Time to show that thing what you and me can do, Anastasia. Sure thing. Let's do it. Just us against Iron Shreds. I'm still scared, though. I mean, I'm hoping Arvin will have, like, a, a somewhat, like, powerful Pokemon for this. Okay, they have Scovillian. Okay, can I check out that Pokemon? Oh, I think that's the evolution of, uh... What was it, like, the spicy pepper Pokemon? I forgot. Oh, Capsa Kid? Was that what it was? Also, I'm gonna have to realize and go for Aqua Jet. It seems like the best strategy for this battle. Okay, super effective. I'm gonna show this Go. I'm gonna show this... I'm gonna use this Govillian I caught nearby. Caesar's... Okay, I think it says Caesar Spicy Pepper Victory or something like that. Sorry, I, I couldn't read fast enough. Alright, come on, Donald. Terrestrialize. And hopefully your Aqua Jet will be enough to take this thing down. Because I, th I think it's like super fast. Like, this is my only chance of being faster than it. Okay. Right, let's just go Aqua Jet. See how much air it's gonna do. Barely any. Oh no, that's not a good start. Okay, it didn't go for me. It went for School Villain. Oh, but almost knocked him out though. Okay, that's not good. Scary Face. Okay, lower. Oh, that's actually good. Lower their speed. Alright, now can I go for an Aqua Jet? I mean, an Aqua Cutter? No, I... Okay, well, okay, school villain attacked first. Wow, that was really powerful. Way to go, Arvin. Okay, also, they didn't attack me again, thank you. Although, well, now Arvin's Pokemon is down, so that's kind of bad. Sorry, Arvin. I'm sorry that had to happen to you. Aqua Cutter? Come on, please, please do a good amount of damage, please. Oh, that still didn't do much. Um, alright, can I go first again? No, I can't. Oh, it one-shotted me. No. Okay. Okay, well, this isn't good. Man. Okay, I guess, I mean, I, 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 at this point, I just have to keep going. I can't stop now. All right, come on, Blob. Okay, is Arvin ever gonna send out... Okay, I don't think Arvin's gonna ever send out another Pokemon, so that's kind of bad. Stop me, Tantrum. Oh, it's super effective. No. Blob. Okay. Okay, dang. Okay, well, I think I think grass types are, are resistant to ground type moves like that, so will Zarina be able to tank it a bit better? I mean, they better. That's not my only hope at this point. Shop kick, come on. A rapid spin? Okay, it didn't do much. Okay, but speed is going up again. I said I don't I don't think it matters. I think I think no matter what I do, it's always gonna be faster than me. Okay. Another rapid spin. Maybe I should heal up on this turn. I don't know. We use Crop Kick. Okay, lo okay, okay, let's keep doing that. Let's keep lowering their attack. That should help out. Uh, okay, let's go for a Sewer Potion. I think that's the best thing. I don't want to waste my good potions. Alright, Sewer Potion in Arena. And, okay, that, that I think that works pretty well. Okay, that rapid spin. Okay, I'm really lowering its attack. That's really good. I mean, sure, it's, it's definitely way faster than me, but as long as I can lower its attack down, that's really good. Alright, stop me Tantrum, I was able to tank that pretty well. Good job, Zarina. The Drop Kick is really good. It, it does a good amount of damage, also lowers their attack. Okay, I'll say I, wanna, I kinda wanna go for a revive, just so I can get- I want Donald to get XP from this, because I really want them to evolve soon. So let's just do that. Hopefully that wasn't a bad choice. Iron Head? Okay, uh... Okay, well, I need to heal again. Alright, just go for another Super Potion. Okay, that, that, I think Super Potion is the best bet. Because I, I can buy them, but Hyper Potions I can't buy yet, so I don't want to use them. A rapid Spin. Okay, it's good, I'm fine. Okay. Let's see, how, how low is their attack? Okay, their attack I lowered three times, so I can lower it three more times. Okay. Stop me, Tantrum. That doesn't do much. Yeah. And I might want to heal again. I mean, I guess this works, I guess. I mean, we got, we're slowly but surely taking this thing down. 
Oh, just get me to full health. That's super good. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I, th I think Arvin feels kind of awkward. He's just, just standing there while I'm, like, constantly healing my Pokemon. And, well, I guess switching between healing and attacking. Also, I also want Blob against Max P2, so let's just heal him up as well. Why not? So I think I'll be able to do this at this point, because its attack is, like, super low. Knock off, I don't have any items, dude. Don't bother with that move. Chop kick. Okay. Also, you don't need to raise your speed anymore. You're, like, super fast by now. Okay. Okay, you're almost down. Let's just keep going. I mean, yeah, chop kick is my strongest move, so I can just keep going for over and over. Come on, Zorina, just keep going. You got this. Uh, I, th I think by now its attack is probably as low as it possibly can get. Can it? Uh, yep, it is. And its speed is as high, is as, high as it can get. But I do think I need to heal a bit more. So let's just do that. Okay, knock off again. Didn't do much. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have healed there. I probably should just keep attacking. So at this point, I think I can just keep attacking. I should be fine. Because it's like, it's not doing much damage. And I'm, it's basically dead by now. Just one or two more attacks, and I should be good. Okay. Okay, just one more. Okay, I don't want Dark Zarya to faint, though. So actually, let's switch out for... You know, let's see if Treasure can finish it off. I'm just curious to see if... I mean, it might not, but we'll still try. Oh, come on, Treasure, you got this. Alright, Iron Head. Okay, it did, took away half my HP. Actually, maybe I shouldn't be using Treasure after all. Alright, I'll just switch out for Flaffy, I guess. Oh, no, no, my, my moves have no effect. Shoot. Okay, that was actually a bad move. My, my attacks do no damage against it. So, uh... Okay, but I, I don't- I, if I switch up from our Pokemon, they're gonna attack first, so actually, I, I think I need to just waste just one more turn just to heal up Donald. Alright, I want Donald to get the final blow. Alright, I think this should work. It's just gonna attack me one more time. Shouldn't do much. And then- Oh, and I paralyzed it! That's good. Way to go, Flaffy. Okay, and now, finally, we can switch out for Donald and finish off with one more Aqua Jet. Well, it's still gonna attack on this turn, though. So I gotta, I gotta hope I survive this. I mean, I think I will. It shouldn't be that bad. Knock off. Okay, it didn't do much at all. So let's finish it off with a powerful Aqua Jet. Hopefully. Come on, Donald, you got this. Yes! Goodbye, Iron Treads. The weird, like, thing. I'm not even sure if you're a Pokemon or not, but still just it's a pretty interesting thing to see. Oh, wow. Okay, that was an interesting, like, fainting animation. Alright, defeat the Titan Iron Treads. I got a ton of XP from that. Let's go. That was awesome. Oh, Flaffy's evolving! Okay. Come on, Flaffy. Also, Do it's weird. Like, Donald's, like, turned around. But there we go, Flaffy's evolving! There we go! Flaffy evolves into Ampharos! Awesome! Alright, Ampharos, the light Pokemon. When it gets dark, the light from its bright, shiny tail can be seen from far away on the ocean surface. Alright, there we go. Awesome. Also, I think that's the showing them on top of a lighthouse. That makes sense. They want to learn to move th Thunder Punch. I mean, I, I guess it's probably a better version of Thunder Shock. Actually, wait, is it? Oh, actually, yeah, it is. It is. So, I mean, this one is a special move. This is a physical move, but I don't really care much. So, let's just get replaced Thunder Shock with Thunder Punch. I honestly found it kind of weird that Ampharos learns Thunder Punch as first move, as it's like its arms are like really tiny. At least sort of tiny, but still. Alright, there we go. Okay, unfortunately Donald didn't evolve though. I was kind of hoping they would. But oh well. We'll probably get it next time, hopefully. Or... Yes, yeah, nice going, little buddy. Thank you. Yeah, that was a nice strategy. Just keep spamming potions and drop kicks. That's what I'm going to call it. What even was that thing though? kind of felt like maybe something I've seen it before somewhere. I mean, Professor Turo says it's from, like, that great creator Paul Dia, 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 or Paul Dea. I'm not sure you pronounce this region. I think it's actually pronounced Paul Dea. I kept calling, calling it Paul Dea, but I think it's actually Paul Dea. And, uh, in there, there's, like, he was talking about weird, interesting beasts. So I think that might be one of them. Anyway, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of the Herba Mystica. Let's get this place of once over before the thing decides to come back. Good plan. All right, let's hopefully go in here, and hopefully we'll get the Herba, Myst the Herba Mystica we need to uh, help uh, Arvin's, uh, I think it was a Pokemon called uh, Masochif. Oh, no, no, not Masochif. Uh, 
I'm sure something here too. I forgot, what was it called again? I, I forgot. Okay, I'm sorry. It's like that big dog Pokemon. Aha! And also, hopefully, Miradon will get new power. All right, but here, there it is. The Herba Mystica. This one's yellow. Looks really nice. I knew it. I spy Herba Mystica. All right, me and Arvin found the sour Herba Mystica. Yes, yeah, so there's like different flavors. Another successful search. We're on a roll. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Okay, sour Herba Mystica is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here, works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. This will definitely help Mab Mabo Stiff feel even better. That's the Pokemon I was thinking of. All right, then let's get to it. Come on, Sitchwise, let's get some food going. All right. Let's see, he's gonna go through his crazy cooking. Yar, Tia, Wucha! I love it. Yeah, I, I like Arvin's character. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your favorite old Arvin sandwiches. It comes with a special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. There we are. Quaking Earth Titan defeated, Path Legends, and that definitely seems like a pretty uh, exciting meal we're having. Yeah, we seem pretty excited about it. Alright then, is Miradon gonna come out again? Looks like it. Gios? Oh, Arfin. Figured this might happen. Don't worry, I made extra this time for that brew of yours. Thank you. Alright, Miradon, you can have the sandwich. Uh, I'll share. Yeah, I'll give it to you. I mean, I, I'm excited because I, I think each time you, you eat the sandwich, you gain a new power. I'm excited to see what's going to be this time. Come out, Map Mabo Stiff. Got something for you, too, bud. Alright, there they are. Let's see if this helps. Alright, it ate it. That's it. Small bites, small bites. Sounds good. Unlike Miradon, who just jumps, chomps it down just one gold instantly. I got us! Oh, what's happening? Miradon not be able to glide now? Whoa! Come on, at least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would you? I got ya. Okay, sorry. Miradon's just kind of a big eater. They just like to wolf their food down real quick. This person seems to be benefiting from the herbs too, I guess, in its own sort of way. Oh yeah, I forgot. Four, I forgot. And since why, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Herba Mystica when we find them, right? Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that makes the Titan so big and strong. Does that mean a Titan's lair isn't actually some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? Just a pantry where the Titan keeps its food? I mean, that could be a possibility. Oh, you're done your sandwich, Mabo Stiff? Alright, how's it going? Oh, can you stand up now? Rough. Oh, it's talking! Rough? Or right, we're not really talking about making noises. You heard that right, and such why Mabel Stiff just woofed, right? Yep, I heard that alright. Right? I'm not imagining things. There it is. It's made making a dark, low, rough. Or just a low rough. See, see that? I knew it was I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, Mabo Stiff, what's my- who's my best bud, huh? Who's the best of boys? You are, yes, you are. Aww. It's been so long since I heard that wolf. <laughs> oh, man. Mabo Stiff is definitely getting better. Even since I, you know, viewed, good things keep happening. Alright, that's nice to hear. But we still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out until we're done. I mean, it's gonna be a little while before we do another one, because I think I need to grind up more for the the other Titan Pokemon. Agaya. Rough. All right, there we go. That that was a half nice, happy ending to that. I mean, I guess it worked out all right, I suppose. Maybe not as intent as the game intended, but I still did it. All right, there we go. Here's Professor Turo. Hello, Mr. Joy. This is Turo. I attack the Miradon has regained more of its original power. I just jumped into the air. You should be able to press the B button to glide. Okay, how to glide. Press the B button while you're in the air, and Miradon will glide for you. If you press the B button once more, you'll stop gliding and immediately start falling. Alright then, he's continue to take good care of Miradon. You know, in a, in a way, actually, I kind of prefer Miradon than the, I guess, the ride Pokemon from Legend Star Seas, because like, I feel like it'll be easier, like, like just, I guess, switch between what you're doing. Actually, I don't know, but let's see. Okay, so I press B, jump, and... Oh, okay, so, okay, so just like issuing Bravery, you don't 
fly, you just glide around. But I, I want to try, like, jumping from a high place and, like, gliding down from it. That'd be cool. Whoa, is that a crystallized Cyclozar? Whoa, I want to try to catch that if I can. Okay, I caught it off guard. I'll come back here, Cyclos or I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm gonna call it Cyclozar. It's like a bicycle Pokemon. Okay, it's a flying type. Alright then. So I'm not sure. Uh, I might, might want to switch out for Flaffy, actually. Alright, what level is it, though? Oh, level 45. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do this. I mean, I guess let's go for an Aqua Jet and see what happens. Uh. <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna try- oh, oh no, not Flaffy, Ampharos. I totally forgot they evolved, okay? Sorry, but now Ampharos, I'm gonna send you out real quick and see if you can take them on. I'm not sure if you'll, you'll be able to, because they're pretty powerful, but we'll try. Our shift here. Alright, I believe that boosts the speed. Oh yeah, struggle versus their speed, and also their attack. I'm kinda scared about the attack part. Let's go for an Electro Ball. Yeah, because it's really fast, so maybe Electro Ball will do a lot of damage. And also, it's a flying tape, so it's weak to electric type moves. Alright, Ampharos, go for Electro Ball. And. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Okay, but I might want to try out my new move, Thunder Punch. Okay, but I really like shifting its gears, huh? That really grinds my gears. Okay, that was a bad joke, I'm sorry. Okay, but let's see how much damage Thunder Punch does. Okay, I think that was honestly better than Electro Ball. Alright, let's just go for one more and we should be able to catch it. Oh no, Acrobatics, that's gonna be really powerful. Yup! Yeah, it's really powerful on, uh, uh, Fletch and Derb, so yeah, it's really powerful now too. But I'm still gonna try this though, so... I guess I can send out... I don't really know. I guess we'll try Treasure. I don't, I don't really know. Okay. Let's just go for, uh, Astonish. Oh no, not oh okay, acrobatics, that move is a killer. Okay, wow, I might not be able to I might not be able to take it out now because it's just gonna just kill all my Pokemon. It's actually really bad. Okay, I guess I'll try Blob next. Okay, I don't think any of my Pokemon are resistant to flying type moves. Uh actually maybe I might go for Donald and go for Aqua Jet, maybe and maybe that'll work. But I don't know. Alright, power whip? Oh, that still took me out. Okay. Yeah, okay, a lot of my Pokemon are fainting. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I think I if I just go for an Aqua Jet, I should get this to work, hopefully. And just that Dung Beetle Pokemon in the background. Alright, Aqua Jet, come on, please hit them. And, okay, there we go. Now I should be able to catch them. Alright, the only problem is I can still attack. Oh, oh, it skips their turn. Okay, it's actually super good. Thank you, game. Alright, come on, please work, Great Ball. Please work. I mean, I also have an item called Repeat Ball that, like, it has a super good chance of catching a Pokemon you already caught, but I didn't have to use it because the Great Ball worked perfectly fine. Also, I don't want to use it, it's pretty rare. Don't almost learn the move Focus Energy. Uh, okay, so I believe Focus Energy is simply just, uh, it, it makes it so on the next turn they have a heightened chance of, Argus just throughout the rest of the battle they have a better chance of landing critical hits. I mean, we already have Fletchinger as our flying type Pokemon, so I guess we can get rid of Wing Attack for now. Alright, there we go. Plus, you can always switch out your moves in this game, so that's nice to know. And, okay, we already know Cyclozar, so let's just, uh, uh, X out of that. And now, let's just quickly head back to Pokemon Center, but then there's something else oh, I want to try, something pretty cool. Alright, so we're back in the first area. It's just, you know, just a nice, peaceful, and lovely place. Because I want to do something a little bit fun with my Pokemon. I want to have a nice little picnic with them. So actually, let's, let's, let's go over, like, maybe over here. There's, like, more grass. Uh, and this looks like a nice little spot. We got, like, a nice little tree for shade. We got a little waterfall. I believe this, this is where, like, I caught, you know, the, the first Wooper. Or I guess when I, where, okay, well, I battled the first Wooper, but then I knocked them out. But then I went to another spot and got Crossbones, the Wooper. I, I evolved into Blob, the, uh... Uh, Claude Squire, Sire, I believe is what they are called. But now, let's have a nice little picnic right here and just try it out. Because I've never actually done it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I can't have it on slopes like this. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just go over. Um, okay, is this like a nice little flat area right here? Let's just see if we try having a picnic right here. Come on, please work. Oh, there we go. 
Alright, so we're having a picnic now. Alright, there's the picnic table with all the uh, chairs and food. You can try picnics together with a Pokemon in your party. If you're playing a group of friends through the Union Circle, you can also have picnics with friends. Okay. Alright, here, there's all my Pokemon running around as well as Miradon. It's pretty cool. Hello? Can I talk with them? Okay, I'm talking with Treasure. Hello? Let's see. Uh, what can I do? I can wash? Okay, I guess I can try washing a Pokemon. Let's wash. Let's wash Blob. Oh, okay. Wash your Pokemon. When your Pokemon get dirty, you can give them a nice wash to have them looking fresh and clean. Do so, give them kind of all kinds of benefits, including restoring their HP or making them more friendly towards you. Alright. Alright, yeah, Blob's really dirty. I mean, I don't know. Are they meant to be dirty, though? Because they are ground type. Okay, you know, scrub them as much as possible, and then rinse them, I guess. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I think there were, like, previous Pokemon games that had stuff like this, but, uh... Oh, oh, I had to hold the A button, okay. But, you know, let's just then bring it back. Alright, are you nice and clean now? Oh, you looks like it. Yeah, Blob seems happy. Alright, let's... I guess we'll do it with every Pokemon. Next, let's try with, uh, Zarina. Alright. Also, I think, like, the hard shell friendly are towards you. Also, wow, a lot of my Pokemon are just sleeping. Like, a Donald, uh, Treasure. Also, I like how when Treasure sleeps, they close their chest. That's a nice little detail. Alright, so sorry, you need to be washed now. You need to be looking like a queen. I mean, because Zarina is sort of like a queen in a way, right? Okay. Alright, come on. Alright, now let's rinse you off. There you go. Alright. Alright, nice. They seem happy about that. Alright, uh, I mean, I don't know if I want to wake them up, but, okay, I, I kind of have to wake you guys up to wash you, I'm sorry. Okay. Alright, Afro, it's your turn. Also, oh, that's also a nice cool thing, the sponge is actually based off Marie. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, it makes sense, I'm, I'm scrubbing Ampharos, the, uh, of Evolution Marie. Okay, so I guess, like, when they cry the first time, that tells you, like, you're done, uh, I guess, uh, scrubbing them, and then it's time to rinse them off. Alright, and they enjoyed that. Alright, so I believe that this helps you, like, make your Pokemon more friendly towards you, because, like, Pokemon games has stuff like that, so I guess it's worth trying out. Alright, let's try a treasure now. I'm not sure it's gonna work exactly. Actually, you know what? I guess it's sort of like, um, cleaning, like, the coins in their chest. Yeah, come on, treasure. Let's clean all the coins. Okay, I'm guessing we'll clean the outside of your chest. I, mean, I should probably clean the inside, like the, the, the shiny coins to make them more shiny, don't you think? Alright, so I get every spot. Are you happy? Uh, okay, you're not saying anything. Okay. Okay, I guess, okay, now they're, okay, I guess you have to release it first. Are there now? Let's rinse them off. Yeah, now that looks like a nice shiny chest. Okay. I think, nice. Okay, I kind of wish the weather was better, though. It's kind of raining right now. Okay, also I can, like, throw a, a ball. What does that do? Oh, it's a soccer ball. Alright, cool. Let's see my Pokemon play soccer. Come on. You gonna play with a ball? Come on, Zarina. I mean, you're basically meant for playing soccer. You got powerful legs. Oh, what? Whoa. Okay, Treasure's, like, hopping over. Okay. They headbutt the ball. I guess that works. Oh, I, I can kick it around, too. That's so cool. Hey, come on, guys. Let's go out. Come on. Pass it to me. Come on. Uh, oh, hey, Treasure. Pass it to me. Oh, okay. Okay, this is fun. It's ever pretty interesting. Alright, and now is, uh, Ampharos gonna get it now? Okay. Okay. This is cool. Right now, okay, we still got more Pokemon to wash. So let's wash off Fletchinder, Donald, and I guess also Miradon, since, I mean, they, I mean, they aren't technically part of my party, but they still are a Pokemon I have, and I should take care of them as well. Alright, yeah, Fletchinder, land on the ground. Let's, let me scrub you off. I mean, there's not much of you to scrub, right? You're, you have, you're not that big. Uh, alright, let's keep going. Am I good? Okay, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for them to, like, to, uh, like, I guess say they're happy. Come on, are you done? Okay, I, I guess I'm just gonna guess they're, they're good, because they weren't saying anything. Alright, there we go. You seem nice and happy. Awesome. Now, all I got left is Donald, my main Pokemon. Or, I guess my... Well, no, I guess my, uh, my, uh, first partner Pokemon. So, yeah, they're always someone you should have to take care of. Oh, uh, okay, you know what? I'm not, I can't do that, Donald. I need you to face towards me. I can't be looking to the picture table while doing that. Alright, come on, Donald. Let's do it again. 
Oh, Donald, I need to wash you. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay, guys, I never want to Oh, I oh no, you're unhappy. What? Oh, oh, you don't you don't want me to touch your hair? Okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Is that better? Are you good better now? Okay. I'm sorry. I guess he just did, he's kind of sensitive about scrubbing his hair. Okay. Well, my Pokemon having fun though, playing with that uh, soccer ball. Alright, we are done. Now it's time for you to get washed. Okay, yeah, I need to look nice and shiny. Okay. And there we go! So that's all my Pokemon washed off. They all seem pretty happy. So now, let's try to make some food now, because that's something else you can do. So let's go up to the a picnic basket. It's a picnic set, what would you like to do? Uh... I was talking like do something. Choose a ball. Oh, I guess I only have one ball so far. Also, Sorina, what the heck was that? Why'd you kick the ball at me? I'm trying to set up a picnic. Yeah, let's make a sandwich, guys. Okay, I actually want to try to get raid power because I want to go do a terror raid battle after this. Or some good game. Let's see, what gives me what gives me raid power? Uh oh, do I not have that? Um, okay, I don't think I, I can do that. Yes, these are these are all the items I have. Okay, we got creative mode or recipe mode. Actually, can I try creative mode? So I, I can just make any sandwich I want, basically. So let's see, let's use, uh, I guess we'll go for a pickle, some ham, some prosciutto, and egg. Let's go, for, just go with one of everything. And then a red, fla red, red flag pick, I guess. Okay, it's gonna be an interesting sandwich. Alright. Now, what's next? Our pile of the ingredients. We got the, fl uh, Potato for uh, tortilla. We got prosciutto, uh, some ham. Okay, wow, this is definitely an interesting sandwich. Oh man. Okay, we got some eggs. Wow, this is really cool. You can like make basically anything you want in this. It's almost like a cooking simulator game. Oh, oh, oh shoot, that's not good. Right, let's find some pickle. You know, I honestly, I almost want to make like a smiley face if I can. Alright, well, I dropped one, or dropped two so far. Alright, one more of these. Let's just set it. Can I just not use it? Oh, oops. Okay, well, I'm doing bad. Alright. Put the bread on top. Okay, sure. No, I... Uh, okay, wow, I made, like, the world's worst sandwich ever. Okay, how is this even gonna look? I don't know. Alright, I might just have to make a different sandwich. That's not even a sandwich, just a one piece of bread with just some random junk thrown on top. Also, like, the pick is, like, way too far into it. Like, I don't know how my Pokemon feel about this. Alright, let's just eat it and see how it tastes. Okay, yeah, it looks ugly. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, I guess we sort of enjoyed it, in a way. Uh, a Tasty and a Sidroi original, two stars. Okay, I should probably do better though. Okay, Encounter Power Grass, Raid Power. Uh, I mean, no, Encounter Power Ghost, Raid Power Grass, Catch Power Fire Fire. Okay. Okay, everyone sort of liked it though. Can, can I make? Can I make another one though? Cause I, I kind of want to make a better sandwich. Oh wait, no. Actually, well, I want to try decorating as well though. So actually, can I go back? And, let's, see, let's see what the other options are. Uh. Uh, okay, redecorate. What does that do? Uh, my water bottle? Like, I don't- oh God, I, I guess I need to buy stuff for that. So, I guess I'll just have to wait and change that later on. But, let's just try making another sandwich. This time we're gonna go buy an official recipe, not my- my own. So, I guess we'll start off with a ham sandwich. It seems good enough. Alright, I only have one kind of pick. I might need to get more of those. Oh, but there we go. They're starting us off nice. And now, all right, put it on the green. So it shows a picture of what it's supposed to look like. So I'm gonna try to follow it as much as I possibly can. Okay, the, the depth perception is kind of just a little bit hard to, to see. So I'm kind of having some trouble with that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's definitely looking way better than my last sandwich. And all right, there we go. That looks pretty good. Now if I put the bread on top, okay, I don't want to mess up, come on. The bread on top, okay, it's alright. And finish, finish off with the pick, okay, it's a bit off-centered, but alright. Better than the last time, at least. At least the top is actually on it. Alright, let's go. Let's eat it. 
let's see how we like it this time. I don't know what- I don't know if it's like grass blowing around. I guess it might be based on the weather. Uh, what? Okay, we all like that! Okay, I think we had a better reaction than last time. Let's see, ham sandwich? Uh, three stars, okay. I guess it's alright. Oh, there we go. Okay, everyone really liked that, nice. Alright, so I think- I think- I think we've just- you know, we got a nice little look at picnicking, although what's whistle? Okay, so I guess I get to get everyone's attention, I guess. Hello, guys. Okay, okay, get the, no, don't kick the ball on top of the picnic table. Alright, I think we're gonna get ready to pack him and leave. So, actually, let's press the Y button. Uh, yeah, pack up and go. And there we go. Also, everyone getting XP from that. That's nice. Oh, a blob can learn a new move now. Oh, sludge wave. I think that's actually a pretty good move. Wait, what's the ball still doing there? Uh, I mean, it's basically. Be is it better than. Uh, poison jab? I think it's better than poison jab, so I might just replace that for now. I mean, I want to keep, keep Toxic Spice, sort of like a, a move I can put out as a trap, you know, at the start of battle. Oh, okay, it went away. Okay, that was just a small delay glitch. Alright, but now I want to try a raid battle, because it said raid boosted. Was it grass? Was that it? So, I actually want to see if I can find a grass-type Terra raid somewhere. Uh, let's just look around the map. Oh, here's one. Uh, can I get there? Uh... Uh, I don't know. I guess we can try. Let's just see. Also, oh, I, can, I can glide. I guess it gets, it gets, makes getting around a bit easier. Okay. I don't know if it's faster to, like, constantly jump and glide like this or just run around normally, but I'm still gonna do it just because it's fun. We... Right, there's this area up here we could get up to. I kind of went up on, like, when I wasn't really supposed to, like, early on, but... I mean, now that we're higher leveled, I might be able to go up there and actually do stuff for real. Yeah, right over here, I think. Let's just glide over. Oh, okay, I made it. Okay, okay some deerlings. Okay, there's a Salazzle. That's a Pokemon I actually want to try to catch. Uh, okay. I'm gonna see if I can, like, throw them off. Actually, also, I want to use, use Blob for this. So let's change them as my first Pokemon. And, uh, okay, I don't, I don't think I can sneak up on them, so let's just encounter them normally. Alright, here we go. Alright, Blob, you got this. Okay, level 33, but... I guess start off with Mud Shot, so that's a pretty weak, uh, dark, I mean, ground type move. Okay, Sweet Ascend, so it's gonna lower my chance to dodge attacks, I don't, I don't really care, though. I mean, Blob is mostly good for, uh, tanking attacks, not dodging. Also, that was really good, way to go, Blob. Alright, I guess now we can just go for the Great Ball right away. I mean, they're not in the red, but they're really low, so that should be good enough. So on one, two... Okay, let's just keep throwing, uh, Great Balls until we get it. Maybe, or maybe I can switch out for Treasure and go for a Tackle, just get them to be a little bit lower. I could try, although I'm worried I might knock them out, though. I guess I'm still gonna go for it, though. Alright, come on, Treasure, you got this. I just heard of Deerlings over there just having a good time. Alright, Poison Thing. Okay, it didn't do much to me. So can I like change? Okay, there we go. The camera was all weird there. All right, tackle, please. Just do a little bit of damage. You don't knock them out. I beg you. All right, please. Oh, okay. That actually wasn't enough. Okay, I guess I have to go for it again then. All right, it's fine. It's fine. You got the treasures. Keep going for tackle. But there we go. Now they're in the reds. Now I should be able to catch them more easily. On. Please stay caught, Slazzle. One. Yes, thank you. Okay, I mean, here, I don't think he does like the one, two, three thing in this game that much. Like, didn't like older Pokemon games. Actually, I don't think I don't think they had that in Pokemon Legends Arceus either. Alright, Slazzle. When two Slazzle meet, they will use their pheromone gas to fight over the males in each other's groups. Okay, yeah, I think Slazzle's like a pretty aggressive Pokemon. Okay, there they are. I didn't catch a Salandit yet, so I'm need to try to find them sometime. Oh, there's a Scyther. I don't think I have that yet, because I tried try catching them. Also, uh, oh, there's a Gimme Ghoul, also another Chewtool. I already have a Chewtool, but no, I don't want to encounter you, Chewtool. I want to get Scyther. Oh, okay. Let's just do it this way. Okay. Okay, uh, oh, they're, level, they're only level 19? Uh, hmm. Like, I don't really know what's... Do then, so I, I feel like I'll actually you know I'll try a treasure because they don't do much damage. Yeah, I guess I guess treasure might be sort of a good Pokemon to have just for situations like this where you just want to do a little bit of damage. 
Oh, there's a Rio. Do I want to catch that? Okay, double team is going to boost your speed a lot, I think. Is that what oh, no, it boosts your chance to dodge attacks. Okay, that actually might be bad, because now I might miss. My false swipe, it's not going to affect me. Arkham, uh, treasure, please. Hit them. Oh, okay, wow, well, treasure really doesn't do much damage. I, I honestly think I should switch them out soon. Oh, you know, maybe I can just try catching it now. Maybe I don't have to battle it that much. Let's just try it. I mean, it's only level 14. One, two, three. Okay, it worked. We gotcha. Scyther was caught. Yeah, I think I might need to get a new Pokemon and replace uh, treasure sometime soon. I'm not sure which one, though, exactly. Oh, gosh, I'm, honestly, I don't think I even have to battle them. I think I just go for Great Balls and try to catch it that way. I'm kind of confused, though. I'm not sure that Salazzle is so high level. These Pokemon are only, like, level uh, 19. Okay, counter. I didn't attack you, so it's not going to do anything. Okay. Also, this might not work. I might actually have to attack it. One, two, three. Oh, never mind. It did work. Okay. Yeah, just keep going for it. Especially a weak Pokemon like this. Or just low-leveled ones, that is. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to call them weak. I'm just saying they're low-leveled. A Riolu, the in, in man manitation Pokemon. I don't know how to pronounce that exactly. I'm sorry. But it has the peculiar power of being able to see emotions, such as joy and rage in the form of waves. And then it evolves to Lucario that can sense auras, I believe. There we go. Are there any interesting Pokemon up here? I don't, I don't think there are. I'm not exactly sure when you're supposed to get to this area. Like, cause like, Pokemon here seem kind of like, weirdly leveled. Oh cool, this is going to just glide all the way over there. Wow, this is really, you can glide really fast. Wow, look at this. Okay, I'm like going in circles. Wee. Okay, I don't want to get him dizzy though, so I think I should probably stop. Oh, here we go, there's a grass raid here, raid. Okay, it's a Ponyard? I don't, I, do I have, I don't know if I have that Pokemon yet, but you know what, I'm still gonna do it. So let's go for a uh, Fletcher so they should be able to take on uh, grass type Pokemon. And also, one other thing I also want to mention is, uh, I also, you know how I got, I talked about how I got that, uh, ostrich Pokemon from a random trade? Uh, I think, I think this is the one I got from the trade. I also got, uh, I think a Charmander from a trade, uh, so I got a Charmander from a trade, and also, it, it didn't add it to the Pokedex, so I guess it's sort of like a Pokemon you can have in this game, but it's not part of the, I guess, the, the region's Pokedex. It's level one, that's interesting. Not exactly, I'm not exactly sure where that person got it from, but, or, if, I mean, it might be hacked, who knows, but whatever. I just, I just wanted to just be honest and just mention random interesting Pokemon I got from trades, because, I mean, I'm, I think I'm going to do some random trades off camera, but just, because uh, I don't want to, I don't really think it's, it's really exciting to see me randomly trade Pokemon. Okay, no, I didn't mean to click that, but, you know, if I do get any, any interesting Pokemon from random trades, you know, it's worth mentioning. Okay, challenge the group. Oh, I'm not playing online. My bad. Okay, let's just go. Cause I, I, I don't want to play online for this. I want to actually try to challenge myself to see if I can do it on my own without people of overpowered Pokemon on my side. All right, let's go. We got this. We can take on Ponyard pretty easily. All right, here we go into the Terra Raid battle. And here's Ponyard with the, the grass hero type. Yeah, they have that. Uh, the flowers on them. Alright, but I think Fletcher should be able to take this out pretty easily. Okay, let's go. So let's go for Acrobatics, that should be the best bet. Okay. Okay, so I guess Inner Thor Focus makes him immune to, like, I guess, stat, stat changes like that, or I guess negative stat changes. Okay, wow, Acrobatics actually didn't do as much as I thought it would. I know, I think I, still, I can still do it, though. Okay, the Heart should lowering my speed, it's kind of bad. Okay, actually, yeah, I think I'm, I should be able to knock it out in this turn. Our Metal Claws. Okay, it didn't do much damage to me. And now, okay, it, it got a critical hit too. Wow, you really are pathetic. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just you didn't do much damage. But there we go. The Wild Ponyard fainted, so now I should be able to easily catch it. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna catch it. I'm just gonna go for a normal. I'm just gonna go for a normal Pokeball because I think if it, uh, in Terra Raids. If you're the one hosting it, I think you have a 100% chance to catch it, so actually it's not really worth going for Great Balls during, or Ultra Balls during it. it I, at least I, I think, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I'm just going to try it yet. I think it's still going to be caught though. Come on. 
Did this clap on your? Okay, yeah, it worked. So I think I'm just, I'm just gonna use normal Pokeballs for Tierra raids as long as as long as I'm the one hosting them. If I join like other ones from other people, I might want to go for more better balls to see if I can catch the Pokemon. There we go, we cut Ponyard, and I believe we had a boost, so I think we got more items from it, I think. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Right, Ponyard, Sharp Blade Pokemon. Any chips this blade will, will prove fatal for it. After each battle, it diligently maintains its blades by using its favorite sharpening stone. Yep, I remember that. Alright guys, so I think we're going to end off the episode right here. Just, you know, just, just a fun, fun little episode where we uh, well, we, we beat the, the, uh, the Titan Pokemon despite how hard it was. And we also, we did Tear Raid, we also had a nice picnic for our Pokemon. And next episode, I think we want to go after, um, another, I'm not really sure what to do exactly. I, I mean, I kind of want to go after a Team Star Fire crew, but then again, I, I kind of want to wait for Donald to be fully leveled up for it. So maybe next time we'll go after another gym. I'll try to decide which one will be the best one to go after. But until then, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos in the series. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! -bye.